Has this ever happened to anyone else? You're out there trying to spread truth to your fellow man, teach them about the biggest lie in history, and they say, why would anyone ever lie to me about that? Before they've ever looked into the subject, before they've listened to any evidence whatsoever, before they've even opened their minds a smidgen, they're already theorizing into the motives for such a conspiracy. These people are the biggest conspiracy theorists ever. They haven't seen a bit of information, and they're already theorizing about the motive of this potential conspiracy. It's like somebody walking into a homicide in their house, blood all over the walls, corpses, smells to high heaven, dead bodies on the ground. You scream, you gasp, and you turn to them, and they say, what? And you say, well, there's a, been a murder here, this is gruesome, this is bloody, this is terrible. This is disgusting. This is awful. Are you looking at this? Do you see this? And they say, I don't see it. Why? Why would there be a murder here? What do you... Why? Why do you think there's been a murder? What would be the motive for someone to murder someone in my apartment? I don't, I don't believe you, and I'm not going to open my eyes to the corpses and blood-stained walls. I'm just going to stand here and ask about the motive. Why would anyone do that? refuses to open his eyes, stands there with his fingers over his face, and says, mm, I don't see it. I don't think so. What murder? What smell? Why would anyone murder someone in my apartment? I'm just gonna go to bed. He lays down in the bed, moves the dead corpses to the side, blood all over his hands, sucks his thumb and goes right to sleep, thinking, oh, even if it was flat, it doesn't affect my life at all. <sighs> Lays in a pool of somebody else's blood. Oh, I, yeah, oh, you're crazy, man. Flatter. Can you imagine if you were a police cadet making this rookie mistake as you happened upon your first crime scene before investigating even a little bit? You start asking your officer in charge, what might the motive be? He's busy gathering evidence. He's busy putting evidence in plastic bags, brushing fingerprints. Meanwhile, you're behind him, poking him in the shoulder, asking why, like a little three-year-old child. But, but why? Incapable of looking at physical evidence, unable to suspend your disbelief for even a second, unable to critically think to be skeptical of the establishment worldview long enough to look at the facts and evidence before wondering about your crazy conspiracy theory motive? See, this is the funny part. I'm giving you conspiracy facts, but you'd rather entertain your anti-conspiracy theory of how nobody would have a motive to lie about the shape of the earth. Well, sorry, I'm not a conspiracy theorist like you people who refuse to look at evidence. I'm a conspiracy realist who's seen the evidence and is aware of the fact that the earth is flat and motionless. And continuing to whine about the why is just your defense mechanism, just a wall you put up in front of yourself so you don't have to take the time to research it and so that you don't have to be the crazy person believing the earth is flat because you actually did your due diligence and found out you have been lied to.